away from the red chamber and the rigors of legislative activities, Senator Smart Adeyemi returns to his constituency to set the tune for the year with a momentous empowerment program. <laughs> Yara, the country home of the senator was agog as he gave out 100 tricycle machines, 50 motorcycles, 40 water pumps, 115 grinding machines, 100 sewing machines, 50 set of computers, and cash worth over 10 million naira. Water pump was a serious uh, empowerment to our people because the Lokoja 2 constituency is predominantly an agrarian area. We do irrigation farming in terms of rice farming during the dry season. So what the senator has done is to assist. By now, we we'll take most of our time in terms of drilling water from the uh, borehole to the farm. So the water pump will assist our farmers. So he has done very well and we thank him for what he has done. The item received by Lokoja local government so far, it's commendable. We have grinding machine, we have pumping machine for our rural areas for farming irrigation system. We have sewing machine, and it also gives a keke nape for some of our people. So the the the, 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 the right term is very commendable because we are beginning to see the beginning of democracy through a God sent man, distinguished and smarter day. I mean, he has been doing it before, even right from time. But today, he's also complimenting the effort of what he has been doing before, and we are proud of his activities. I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. Because it has been a very long time we have been looking for this kind of uh, opportunity. And thank God it has come. We are a computer. And we are going to make use of them for our students, which it will enhance their knowledge. It will bless them greatly. And we shall be very grateful to Senator Adeyemi for his efforts to assist my students. We pray that God will continue to bless him. We took into consideration our terrain and we took into consideration the global economy session. Uh, the concept of this is to enable them to have a regular, may not be too high income, but an income that can sustain them and that can earn them a fairly good source of revenue to run their homes. This may not be enough to meet their needs and their aspirations. But to a large extent, it could help to um, augment and uh, to sustain some of them if they are very economical with the resources that will be coming from some of these um, uh, very low, uh, small-scale enterprise. You know, so we are just showing concern 
like the motorcycle we have uh, purchased, uh, the Kakana Pep, the grinding machine. Um, the farmers, we gave them a uh, high level um, pumping, uh, water pumping uh, machine so that they could do um, farm, uh, uh, dry season farming. You know, so what we have do, just done is to show concern and to at the same time try to respond to their needs or basic needs of life by having some small income that will uh, come in daily for them to learn to manage their families. With over 1,000 constituents smiling home on the first day of the year, there was no better way to start 2022. What he has done for Kaba is too invaluable. For me to start recounting, and of recent we have gone to Abuja twice, one for the upgrade of the School of Agri to a full-fledged university, and the other one for the establishment of a law school. I, I can't see anybody doing better than that. So we are most grateful. We, as I stand here, I represent about 80 traditional rulers in open land. So when I, when I speak, I speak for them. And I can confidently, very confidently, proclaim him as our son in whom we are well pleased. And we are grateful to have you as a senator. And I pray God Almighty who will assist us because God owes everything for you to leave that Senate. Amen. By the special grace of God today, we have a quality representative, somebody who represents us very well. He is not even there for Kogi West alone. He is there for people of East. He is also there for people of Central. In the society, it is called C or Senator Smart. There are a lot of people that were employed. Some got road safety, some got fire service, some got NYC employment, and there were so many other people who there are a lot of employment opportunities that he facilitated during that time. And coming to this time now, uh, we appreciate God. He has even become much more stronger, much more mature, and he's even doing more than he did before. Uh, I, I know time is a place of, but it is important to let you know that, apart from even giving this support to the people, what of the type of goods that is already sponsoring at the National Assembly. If the Federal College of uh, the College of Agri in Kaba, by the time by the grace of God, it is finally converted and upgraded to becoming a full-fledged Federal University of Agriculture Kaba. How do we think the, the, the glory of the West Senatorial? What do you think will happen to the youth of the Ogo and the West Senatorial at large? So it's a giant strike. What of the bill on the establishment of a North Central campus of the law school, Nigeria Law School in Kaba? The moment such also becomes reality. The economy history, the economic destiny, the economic future of the West Central people becomes an admirable one. So these are unique things that Senator Smart is doing that makes him different from too many senators. I have to say, we have our senator as the chairman of Senate Committee on Aviation, and he has also made sure that, despite the unique nature of aviation industry, he has made sure that it has a reflection on the people of Kogi West, and especially Kogi State. That is why very soon, in a few months to come, we are going to have two hair strips in Kogi State. One in Ajabuta and another one in Ekbe, in Togi West Senator District, through distinguished Senator Smart Adeyemi. The Senator, while highlighting some of his efforts in the House, appealed to constituents to continue in their support for the President and Kogi State Governor, Yahaya Belu, stressing that the fight against insecurity will continue to receive the attention it deserves. Do you know how much we have put into security? Trillions fighting insurgency. This Boko Haram you are seeing is not a local war. They are sponsored by nations who felt Nigeria to be too powerful. And they said they will not allow Nigeria to grow. You don't know what is happening. The war Buhari is fighting is not a local war. It's an international war. Have you imagined the Boko Haram people who didn't go to school and they can carry machine gun? Who trained them? This 
is an international fight against Nigeria. 